trendsetter, the first woman foreign minister, uh, finance minister. What message do you have for the f women leaders and future leaders, if you will, when they're dealing with either a glass ceiling or challenging environments where they like to be able to push through it? I think the, the glass ceiling is real, and you know I've encountered it multiple times. Um, but I, the only the, the the answer I have to it is excelling in what you do, and not giving up in trying to get where you're going. Excelling in what you do, making your voice heard, but not giving up. It's very easy to get discouraged when you get to a point and it seems like you can't make it. But sometimes if you look properly, an opportunity may present itself and that may enable you to break through. What do I mean? I saw one time in my own career, multiple times, there were assignments that nobody else wanted to do because they were risky, they were unpleasant, Certainly, the men did not want to do it. And I, in one case, was thrown into the assignment. I didn't really volunteer for it. I was thrown into it as a younger person. But I managed to carry out that assignment. This was at the World Bank successfully. And it really gave me the kind of exposure I would never have had. You know, the vice president of the unit in which I well, got to know who I am, because when I was leading this assignment, the president in the country in which we had the problem kept sending messages to the vice president, <laughs> ministers to come and visit him. And they were, each time they came with a complaint, I was the one hold up to explain why this project was not working. And in the end, we managed to clean it up and make it work. And that just kind of gave a breakthrough. That was, and, and, and that, you know, sort of gave me the visibility. And from then on, I went on. So not every assignment I was given was a pleasant one. Not every assignment I sought to take was a pleasant one. But it gave me the opportunity. I felt I could do it. So don't take it on if you can't make it. But if you can, it can give you that breakthrough. So that's my advice. Be a bit of a risk taker. I've taken a lot of risks in my career. And the last one almost resulted in something quite adverse. But the way to break through is to be a little bit of a risk taker. And this applies to both men and women. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs>